Well, hello, Darkfish Rally friends. We're back in Monte Carlo. The recce is well and truly underway. In fact, it's very nearly finished. The wrecking stage five, that is the last stage of the recce. But how cool is this? The smells, the sights, the sounds, it's all Monte Carlo. Gets us unbelievably excited. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have a little chat with a few of our drivers just to find out what the conditions are like in the stages. We love a bit of snow, we love a bit of ice, but is there much of it around? Thierry Neuville, I almost said bonjour, good morning, but it's good afternoon. Uh, great to see you. What a season we have ahead. Um, how has the recce gone so far? <laughs> yeah, hello. Hello, everybody. First, um, yeah, new new year, new season. Happy to hear to be here again. And uh, yeah, looking forward. Rec is going well. Obviously, I would say not straightforward, but quite easy easy conditions um, compared to to be honest, what we what we hoped for and and expected. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. Very mild temperatures today, Thierry. Are we seeing much in the way of ice on the roads or snow on the roads? Not much. I mean, there was just one stage, which will be Friday morning's first stage, with a bit of uh, icy patches, and uh, and that's basically it. Um, we had a bit of frost on uh, Saturday's opening stage, but uh, by the time of the rally, probably, uh, yeah, the, ride, the road will be dry. Okay, good luck, Thierry. Great to see you. Uh, Martin, do you see Martin's watch? Nice watch, isn't it? Nice new rally watch. Let's move down this way. There's a queue of cars turning up now. Let's see if we can grab a quick word with Oit Tanak back in a high Hyundai. Good afternoon, Oit. Back with high Hyundai. Does it feel like coming home or does it feel like starting with a new team? Because there are so many new people there, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't say so, obviously. <laughs> yeah, most of them we know well. And how's it been so far? How's the recce been for you so far? Maybe not quite as much snow and ice as we were hoping, but how's it been out there? Uh, quite uh, tarmac rally. Uh, some places still a bit uh, icy in the morning, so uh, yeah, probably freezing overnight, but uh, generally probably a lot less than expected. Though. How excited are you out about the season ahead? Probably not as excited as you, but but still excited. I'm always excited for your chances, Oit Tanak. There we go, Oit Tanak. Yeah, what is he going to do this year? We will find out. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? Sammy Pyre in the Toyota Yaris. He is in the Rally 2 Yaris. It's going to be exciting. Sammy, what an exciting year we have ahead. But before we talk about the year, we have to talk about Monte Carlo. A great way to kick off the season. Yeah, of course. It's uh, the, the legendary start of the season, but yeah. Uh, I think it will be a tricky tricky rally anyway. What can we expect from you this weekend? What are you setting yourself as a target? Honestly, I didn't think so much. Uh, so I have still some time uh, to think. But yeah, for sure I would like to do do well. And But yeah, okay, the competition is really, really tough. So not so easy to say. What have you made of the conditions so far that you've seen in the stages? Um, it's mostly quite let's say dry, uh, dry or at least without the ice and snow but there is still some ice patches somewhere so it <laughs> still it won't be that easy i, I think yeah. especially if we need to go with the full slick tires so and you have few icy places so it can easily catch you out but yeah need to see we're looking forward very much to watching both of you through monte carlo and the rest of the best of luck guys thank you yeah, Rally 2 is going to be, as always, really, really exciting this year. Chuck in the fact that we're going to watch this new Rally 2 Yaris and see how it gets on. Don't forget three-cylinder. Some great drivers, though, already down to drive that car this year. Oof, it's going to be fun. Hello, Emil. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you back in Hyundai colours this year. Uh, doing the recce on this one. How's it going? It's going well. It's going well. I mean, sun's out and, um, yeah, I've, I've obviously been here doing the recce before, not the rally. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, it's looking so good, it would be nice to to be in the, on the shakedown today. How tricky do you think it's going to be over the next four days? Um, well, looks fairly dry, I guess. Um, there's been some ice spots here and there, so, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we've had a small taste of what it could be during the rally, or a proper month, eh? but um, I guess it will be quite uh, easy cruising like last year. Looking forward to another year in the Hyundai? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, we'll start in Sweden. So it's just a few weeks till, uh, till the test then. And then we'll take it from there. Looking forward to get the season started, yeah. We'll see you in Sweden. But 
Set it down for... Oh, Adrian, for more. What have you got there? Saucisson et uh, baguette? Saucisson baguette? No, it's a uh, merguez. Oh, is this from these boys? Yeah. Really good. The smell from the barbecue. Did you not have any lunch, though? Did the first pass, I said, um, yeah, I would like to have a hot dog. I've got it. Perfect. Is that good French cuisine? Yeah, it's good. Nice bread. <laughs> nice sausage. I have to say, Adrian, you're looking very, very relaxed. But um, tell me about the conditions that you've found so far in the recce. They are quite challenging by all accounts. Yeah, for sure. The condition will be tricky, for sure. Uh, it's a Monte Carlo in Gap. Uh, you see the humidity on the floor. It's icy in the morning. So how quickly it melts, etc. It will be, I think, uh, we'll see. You know, we were very much looking forward to Japan and for reasons beyond your control it didn't happen how excited are you for this one because you know, it's your return to rally one on your home event how excited are you yeah i'm really really happy and pleased to be back in the rally one especially in monte carlo uh we know it's a really challenging rally but uh, i just want to enjoy it and, and we'll see so is there anything on that butter sauce no just the just the sausage and, uh, and bread Good. enjoy we'll Thank see you later no i don't david <laughs> i do not I, I can ask the guys here uh, Gregoire Munster. Ooh, let's have a word with Gregoire. Great to see him back. Did a great job in his, what was it, three outings, wasn't it? Two, and two outings, sorry, in the Rally One car last year. Did a really good job just signing autographs. Gregoire, huge, huge year ahead of you, starting with Monte Carlo Rally. Never the easiest of wreckies. How have you got on? Yeah, quite uh, nicely. There is not so much ice on the, on the road. Uh, except Sale uh, Gilles Miles, but uh, but yeah, you have some damp uh, and uh, wet patches. But yeah, till now, uh, good Ricky so far. Are you getting used to wrecking in this lovely car? It's quite a nice car to wreck in. Yeah, I had the chance to to have it in uh, Central Europe as well. But so yeah, it, uh, it's nice to wreck in such a nice car. And uh, maybe it's just some uh, two small wheels, and so. You're having quite an easy puncture, but uh, we'll maybe change for the next one. That's a good idea indeed. Best of luck this weekend. Gregoire Munster, so good to see him. Oh, there's young Chris Ingram. Look, I don't know. I don't, do we talk to friends of royalty? Friends of royalty, well, David. We need to find out exactly what's going on. Uh, uh, how listen, how? how we, we, listen, we saw the unveiling of the car. The livery looks magnificent. The car looks magnificent. But the most exciting thing was uh, Prince Albert. How did you manage to pull that one? I know you kind of Mancunians can just about organise anything, but that was something special. We've been friends for a very long time, so <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what you're so surprised about. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you at school together? I mean, what? <laughs> Did you meet him down the local pub? It's a long story, but <laughs> I, um, I've got some, some connections in Monaco now, and it was amazing, just, yeah, unbelievable to have him there, and the car looks absolutely stunning. So uh, yeah, just, just uh, what a way to, to, to start just ahead of the rally. And do you know what, you're for, for once, Chris, you're starting the season with a good package behind you. It's a good car, a good team and a good programme. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I was trying to get this car this time last year, but we were stuck with the old one. Uh, but we had a really good test on Sunday and yeah, confidence is high. You look like, like you live in Monaco these days. You are always a handsome bloke, but the suntan, the hair, the glasses, you're living the dream. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> he is living the dream. Here we go, Elvin. Let's grab a quick word with Elvin. Let's go. He's had his lunch. He's ready to go. Scotty Martin's there as well. Oh, very quick word. Look at that. It's a beautiful picture, sir. Look, beautiful picture. Lovely little die-cast model. Elvin looking fit and well. Look at him. Looking like the athlete that he is. We, oui. I don't know what the French word for side is, do you? I don't know what the French word for side is. What was the Welsh word on the side? I'm sure Elvin was. Elvin, great to see you. Great to see you. We are all so excited about the year ahead. I guess you must be. Monte Carlo gets everyone excited. Are the conditions exciting out there for this year's Monte? I mean, there's no snow and ice compared to what we usually have, obviously, but that doesn't still make it an easy rally. It's, there's always a lot going on here, so, uh, yeah, it still won't be easy. I guess the two rallies every top driver wants to win are Finland and Monte Carlo. You've shown what you can do in Finland. Um, what are the chances of an Evans win here this week? <laughs> Let's see. We'll try our best and see what comes. The testing went well. Yeah, quite OK. Uh, it's always hard to judge in a test. You know, you have a relatively narrow window to, to try the car, but everything feeling good. Oh, looking forward to seeing it. Well done, boys. Lovely to see you as well, Scotty. Looking very focused, as always. Look, 
He really is. Yeah, it was great to see Prince Albert involved in the unveiling of Chris's car. He's a huge rally fan. He's a huge motorsport fan. Chris now lives in Monte Carlo. Uh, his girlfriend, his girlfriend's family connected to the Prince and the Prince helped him out. And it's wonderful to see. And it's wonderful to see Ingram with a full programme this year. Oh, c'est la chambre. Allez, allez, le champ. Look at that smile. Look at those glasses. Look at that man. He just looks I'll like the, you in the glasses for you. The glasses are magnificent. You don't have to. I'm keeping mine on. How are we feeling, champ, ahead of this one? Going for ten in a row. You'll be sick and tired of hearing that by probably this evening. Not ten in a row, but yeah. Uh, going well, yeah, no, you're right. Ten. Going for number ten. That would be. Uh, that would be amazing, of course. But I mean, more than numbers, you know, I know that this rally is, is uh, always a tough one to win and all of these wins, all of this experience here, of course, is a help, but uh, doesn't make it uh, easier for me this year. And I think even if there is no snow, it will be, uh, like always, challenging, especially early in the morning with some, some ice, some frost in the road. So, yeah, uh, like always, I, I approach this rally with a lot of respect and see what we can do. Respect is the word, isn't it? Respect is the word for this rally because it can bite you so quickly. Yeah, respect and yeah, humility, basically, uh, in, in face of this challenge. So, yeah, uh, like always, we'll have to try to be clever and fast, of course. Yeah, bon chance, champ. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Ten. Ten in total, not ten in a row. I love it the way Seb always puts you right. If you get it wrong, he will put you right. Um, it would be quite some achievement. 10 Monte Carlo rally victories, my goodness me. He's got to be odds on favourite, David. Colin, he, for me, he absolutely has. I'm surprised you made that school wear. No, it wasn't. I, didn't, I knew it wasn't 10 in a row. I just got carried away. <laughs> really? <laughs> Colin Glock got I, carried away. I knew, uh, for example, Newville won it in 21? But it's, uh, 20. Yes. 20. First year of COVID. 20. 20. 20. 20. Amazing how we reference everything to COVID, isn't it? It is. I'm happily coming off the bench, Colin. Colin's busy at the minute, Oliver. He, he would like to talk to you, but he's a bit busy. Yeah, but T I like talking to you also. Well, I, I would hope so. Tell us about the recce. It's good. Uh, conditions are beautiful. The roads are beautiful. So it's going to be fun. Any, is there any ice anywhere? Yeah, there's a little bit maybe, but it's going to melt for the rally. T we know there's some black ice around. How, how do you drive these recce stages? Are you continually kind of feeling the grip or are you just looking at the corners? Uh, you can feel it quite quickly because you are always, you know, driving on a on a steady pace, and then one time, oh, you lose a bit of grip, so you know it's a bit. But yeah. we'll see. It's quite a long week already, though, isn't it? Yes, yeah, a long week, but uh, I guess this is how it was, uh, how rallying should be. Absolutely, <laughs> and it's how you're used to it now with the RAC. But tell us a little <laughs> bit about the the delivery. The car looks sensational. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, we put a uh, Death Spray and uh, David, this is his name, myself, and 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 Skoda. Put a lot of work into it. Uh, you know, we want to make it, uh, of course, corporate with Skoda, but still a bit of cool, cool image uh, from my side. So I, I think uh, Skoda has been, you know, fantastic to have this open collaboration to use both. Excellent. And Elliot's writing all the right words down. I think so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Have a good one, boys. There we are. And Colin, Colin's back. Our YouTube channel is on, David. <laughs> Colin, just tell us a little bit about where you've just been. Uh, no. Hello, dog. You say hello to the dog. Bonjour, mon ami. Bonjour, la petite chienne. Oh, it's so pretty. I love a good dog. Look. What is it? What sort of dog? Is it a terrier? Oh, he's had enough. He's had enough. The dog owner's gone. Didn't like us, did he? Mm. WRC2 again this year. It's going to be very competitive. Yeah, it has uh, every year now the field is uh, very strong. So, yeah. Start with the Monte Carlo. Happy to be back. It looks... Uh, more dry than the previous years, but uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting, I guess. Any tricky stages out there that we should be looking out for? Uh, I think uh, the saint léger uh, les Meles uh, is, uh, is quite difficult, but uh, not that much ice this year. It's a shame, isn't it? We all like a little bit of ice, a little bit of snow. It mixes things up nicely. Yeah, a little bit more but uh, than what we have now, but not too much. <laughs> quite right, too. Best of luck this year. Really talented young French driver, Nicholas, isn't he? Let's see what he can do. It's always great, isn't it, to get a little bit of an insight into the conditions before the rally starts. So, doesn't look like we're going to see too much snow and ice up there, but 
Don't forget what Sebastian Ogier said. This rally requires the utmost respect. It's going to be interesting no matter what the conditions out there this week.